In this video, I'll be showing you how to add some basic materials to finalize and make your clock look semi-realistic. At this point, I'm going to hit M on the keyboard, and it's going to bring up the Slate Material Editor. I'm going to maximize that. I'm going to drag out an arc and, arc and design for Mental Ray. I'm going to drag out another arc and design for Mental Ray. I'm going to double click the material number 21. I'm going to name this clock underscore cover. And I'm going to just select the basic template of glass solid object. At this point, I'm going to restore down, drag over. I'm going to select the front face of the clock. And I'm going to apply the material to it and show shaded material in the viewport. Next, I've already gone through the liberty of naming and creating a selection set for each of the objects in the scene. I've created a selection set for the numbers by selecting all the numbers and then just adding a selection set up here. Material number three, I'm gonna rename numbers and I'm gonna give them a glossy plastic. I'm gonna assign the material to the selected object, show shaded material and viewport, and I'm gonna change the color to black. Next, I'm going to drag out another arc and design material, name it Bolt, select a template, select the brushed metal, select the, I'm going to hide the front face so I can select underneath what's in the clock by right clicking and hide, hide selection. I'm going to select the bolt, and then I'm going to apply the material to that, and then show shade in viewport. Make sure it's not at work. the reflective water, brushed metal. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to do three different standard colors for the hour, minute, and second hand. Or actually, I'm going to I'll use the arc and design and drag out three of them and I'm going to use one of their templates. The material number 10, I'm going to rename it the hour hand. I'll select Glossy plastic. I'm going to change the color to red. And apply the material to it. Then for the second one, I'll go to rename it minute. For the minute hand, do a glossy plastic. Change it to that same red, but I'm going to lighten it slightly. Apply the material and show the shaded in viewport. Then for the last one, I'll do a second. For this one, I will do the same glossy plastic. Change it to red, to a faded red, and apply that material to it. Next, I'm going to exit out of the material editor. I'm going to select this, the clock object, go into the modify panel, go into the polygon sub object mode, hit control A to select all. I'm going to then scroll down, 
you'll see this thing that says polygon material IDs. I'm going to set all the IDs to 1. <clears throat> then I'm going to deselect everything. I'm going to go into the front viewport and select all the front faces that are behind the numbers. And I'm going to take and set their ID to, to the number 2. Deselect. Now in here, if you change the number, you can select ID number 1 and it'll select that select the object select the polygons within that object within that material ID and same if I select select the material ID number two what this does is it allows me when I add a texture I can add a multi sub object texture the material editor and apply that so this will be the clock base texture you don't, we only need two we'll do an arc and design for the outer base of the clock for number one and we can rename that outer and for number two, we can name it face. For the outer base of the clock, we'll do a stained metal, or we'll do a copper. And then for the face, we're going to do an arc and design. and do a matte plastic and change the color to a white. Then the clock base, I'm going to select that. Make sure that's selected, the multi-sub object. Make sure the clock base and the 3D viewport selected. I'm going to assign the material. And I'm going to just show the shaded material and viewport. At this point, I can un unhide all and it'll show the clock face or the clock cover I'm gonna hit make sure I'm in perspective get a decent view and then shoot a render out and this is the final product of the clock that I've taught you how to model <laughs>